The country seemed to have missed the Hanta municipality in the Northern Cape. The Korea Dam, which uh, supplies water to residents of uh, Calvinia, Newvertville, uh, Lorisfontein and Brandfley have all dried up. Bone dry. The last time the Korea Dam was at its million cubic litre capacity was three years ago. The effects of the prolonged drought are evident. Residents like Hannah van Wijk have been forced to change their lifestyle. We use it not for, for plants and, and lawns, but not for, house, for the house and drinking and wash in the water, not, it's, not, not other, it's other. The Hanta municipality is enforcing strict water restrictions. You can't water the lawn like we used to in the past and you can't wash your car. You must have limits now. Usually we, we wash our, our cars with pipes, your, your gardens, you use pipes to, to spray it, but now we must use turns and things like that to, to give your place water. The municipality says most people are adhering to restrictions. For the past few weeks there have been whispers of rain that either never comes or when it does rain a bit, it falls in the wrong places. The area is in a winter rainfall region, which starts in about four months' time. In the meantime, they are dependent on borehole water. Seven boreholes now supply the area, but they only fill the area's reservoirs up to 35%. We are now uh, totally on, on boreholes to provide water to the community. Uh, we are hopeful that uh, it will rain uh, within the following uh, month or two. The boreholes won't last forever though. Residents are looking at Mother Nature for relief, hoping for good, proper rains to fill the Korea Dam. Ulrich Hendricks, SABC News, Calvinia, Northern Cape.